So I'm in Canada right now. I'm back in Mississauga, Ontario because my U.S. visa status expired and my application for my new visa wasn't submitted yet. So it was safest just to leave the country. I thought it was only going to be for like maybe a month, six weeks, but it's been, I guess it's been like six weeks right now. It's probably going to be a bit longer. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people involved. Anyways, I'm back here and I thought I wasn't going to vlog, so I didn't bring my vlogging camera. I didn't think I would want to vlog because I thought I would be too busy and also too depressed. I am kind of busy. I was violently depressed for periods of time. I've lost a sense of control over my life by being back. There are a lot of things that I can't control from here, like the cleaning list of my fish's tanks. Even though the pet sitters all did a great job at keeping it as clean as they could, there's still certain things I can't micromanage from here. One of them got sick, like right as I had to leave, and that one ended up passing away. I think because it didn't have like insane everyday water changes. I think it just became too stressed out. But that will always weigh on my conscience. You know, Tina has surgeries. Kind of have to coordinate my sister bringing her there. Thankfully, my sister went to go rat sit for me in New York, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Yeah, I've, I've like lost my mind here. I think because I just had this fear, like what if I can't ever return? And I kept shelling out money for pet sitters. And I also had like the pet's vet bills to pay and like lawyer fees and rent. Um, though thankfully I only kind of, only kind of like one month's rent was in vain. And I don't even feel like I wasted it because like my pets had to stay somewhere. And you know, the, the rat's dad visited Tina and the fish every day. Like the, some of the pet sitters would stay over sometimes. And now I'm glad if anything, somebody's living in the apartment. And I guess that's like the only kind of positive spin I could put on it is that my sister was like genuinely excited to go. She hasn't traveled anywhere in two years or more. Though obviously if I could switch positions with her, I would, but I don't know if they would let me across the border again without a visa. And the one I'm applying for, they can't reject you at the border. Like it's like a no questions asked policy, so I think also leaving all the things I had going in New York forced me to simplify things here because there's a lot of things I just can't do or continue here and it kind of made me realize what was essential and not essential and helped me prioritize better. I mean, I still was violently depressed at some points. There's a lot of stress involved with having to leave a country suddenly and as soon as you can and having animals still there and things going on there. At one point, the rat's dad, who was watching Tina, had called me to let me know my toilet was spitting up water and it like flooded the washroom. I don't even really want to talk about it. He cleaned it up and they got it fixed, but I felt like then I had lost ultimate sense of control and I had a mental breakdown. That's like kind of one example. Also, I know I'm not fleeing from like a war country and I'm just leaving from New York City to Mississauga, Ontario, which is like right across the border, but there's still a lot of less urgent stressors that are involved without getting too granular. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to the dentist today after at least three years. <laughs>
，不客哈，好，来点半，非常感谢啊。I got two cavities filled. I took a video because I thought that I would look really funny because they put these like little glasses on you since there's this big light over. You know, the last time I went to the dentist, I don't even know how many years ago. My sister took this picture of me that I thought looked really funny, so I was like, okay, I look like that again. Um, but no, no, I have never. I don't think I've ever looked worse in this dentist chair. In this video right here, but I thought it was worth sharing because nobody's watching my vlogs because it's aspirational. I mean, no one's really watching my vlogs anyway. But yeah. Also, the dentist played her Chinese music the whole time, which was really relaxing. Then I made my first meal of the day at 3 p.m. I find myself getting mad at myself sometimes, asking myself what I have going on to where I can't find the time to eat. But everything is time and effort, and you just don't notice it as much when you're not depressed. And even if you don't have anything immediately pressing, there's still so much going on all the time. That's something that a meditation instructor once said that stuck with me. When you stop everything you're doing, like when you're meditating, you'll notice that so much is going on internally, and that things are always happening. So if you haven't eaten or done any basic or seemingly, I guess, simple tasks, it's okay. There's a lot going on. You just don't see anything pressing when you look back. So you think. Oh, I didn't do anything. When really, everyone has a million little things going on all the time, and you're probably also doing things all the time. So try not to be mad at yourself or judge yourself. I'm guilty of this too. And even if you did nothing, that's also fine, because you're not a doing machine. So for the rest of the day, if I'm not working, which today is a Saturday, I will just kind of do whatever on the computer. There's always things to do, like reply to emails. I'm editing part three of the Georgia blog. There's always health insurance claims to submit. I'm organizing my phone photos on the cloud right now. I'm just kind of like organizing my computer files. I might study for my G1, which is the written exam to get your license. I might work on my portfolio. Sometimes I'll like upload a drawing to my website or something. I don't know. There's there's like there's always things to do, and I have to I have to do some like Christmas and birthday shopping. So, but if I like record myself doing it, then I don't, I don't actually wanna. And it's like weird for me to. Do it because this this is like an extra this is like extra labor on top of doing the actual thing itself and this is not really interesting anyways so I'm I'm just gonna do it and it's really dark in my room right now because I don't know which way my window is facing but it's facing what whichever direction gets the least light yeah but that that's kind of like that's kind of the way I like it like I think I'm I like darkness I've been watching this these one vlogs of this girl called Cecilia who lives in Svalbard and I kind of want to try living somewhere like that where they only get a few hours of daylight a day and kind of see how I do. Anyways. 
I hate the way my hair looks. My bangs are at a length where it doesn't like frame my face. It just kind of makes it like pumpkin shaped. And then when I when I put it to the side, it makes my whole head look like on a dick shaped. It looks <laughs> dick shaped. And then I made this instant pho because all I ate that day was what you saw earlier in the video. I added some seaweed, some vegetables, and an egg, and then I watched those fall art vlogs while I ate. And then I went back to editing my own vlogs. Then after dinner, we put up the Christmas tree. It's this raggedy, old, busted, sort of synthetic tree from Zellers that's older than I am, but it's everything that I would want in a Christmas tree. Like, I don't think I can imagine ever having a lush, really full, huge, real tree um, when I have my perfectly fine, you know, skinny, old, weird tree at home. Also, my mom doesn't want to be in the vlog, so I could just kind of record it around it, but I also didn't really want to record putting it up because then it wouldn't feel as fun. Here's our tree. We have a lot of eclectic ornaments that are mostly from childhood. Some Elizabeth or I bought in college. And then we have this white woman on top of the tree.
and then I worked out. I typically work out at night, although I'd like to start working out during the day because working out gives you energy. So I try to leave like at least an hour to two hours before going to bed. And then I recorded some voiceovers for my Georgia vlog. And then we just stared at the lake for a while. <laughs> 